uh, the trial of Sam Bankman Freed, the founder of cryptocurrency exchange FTX and hedge fund Alameda Research, is set to commence in New York on Tuesday, October 3rd. And this comes almost a year after the collapse of both FTX and Alameda Research. Uh, the events leading up to the trial uh, paint a picture of alleged fraudulent uh, activities and uh, money laundering that caused significant uh, damage to uh, the businesses involved. Um, in a nutshell, Alameda Research purportedly took customer deposits from FTX and invested them in fictitious crypto tokens, which derived their value from the confidence in FTX's operations. Uh, when this confidence waned, FTX and Alameda Research suffered substantial losses, which many argue contributed to a broader disillusionment in the cryptocurrency industry. Uh, following an investigation, federal authorities uncovered numerous alleged crimes, leading to seven federal fraud and money laundering charges against Bankman Freed, uh, with the possibility of more charges. Uh, and furthermore, several key individuals within Bankman Freed's inner circle at FTX have made plea deals to cooperate with the ongoing investigation. Damian Williams, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, has led this cooperation. And then concurrently, other legal proceedings related to FTX's bankruptcy continue, including a lawsuit filed by the company's new management against Bankman Freed's parents. Uh, on this matter, former Securities and Exchange Commission official John Reed Stark has put forward three compelling reasons why he believes Bankman Freed's trial uh, will likely result in a conviction. A plethora of cooperation. The prosecution team is set to call numerous senior corporate insiders, including Caroline Ellison, CEO of Alameda Research and Bankman Freed's on again, off again girlfriend, FTX co founder Derry Wong, and FTX engineering director Nashad Singh. According to Stark, these witnesses who have pleaded guilty and are cooperating to reduce their sentences are expected to provide a comprehensive account of FTX's alleged criminal activities. Uh, additionally, a multitude of other informants, turncoats, and whistleblowers have reportedly supplied the prosecution with extensive evidence and insights into Bankman Fried's alleged unlawful actions. And precedent and access to evidence Season restructuring expert John J. Ray III, who has been extensively investigating FTX's activities, has reportedly spent around $200 million to uncover evidence of alleged wrongdoing. And Stark believes that the prosecution team has likely gained access to Ray's findings, which include terabytes of incriminating evidence, thanks to the collaboration between Ray's team and law enforcement agencies. This is significant. A uh, trove of evidence will undoubtedly uh, play a crucial role in the trial. Uh, Self-incrimination and impeachment. Uh, Sam Bankman Freed's public relations campaign following the collapse of FTX has been characterized by numerous interviews and statements in contrast to the advice typically given by uh, defense attorneys. Uh, these public appearances have provided the prosecution with substantial visual and audio evidence that they can use to portray Sam Bankman Freed as a quote pathological egomaniacal figure behind a colossal financial fraud according to the former SEC official. As the trial approaches Sam Bankman Freed finds himself in a Brooklyn jail due to his pretrial behavior which reportedly irked the prosecutors and judge. If convicted Sam Bankman Freed could face a lengthy prison sentence of up to 115 years, although the actual term is more likely to range from a decade to two.